Thanks for the introduction. Hi. Hi everyone, my name is Alex. I'm a comedian, but I've never performed any comedy before. So I'm going to tell some jokes like maybe five. You know, I thought most people sang into one microphone. I must be out. I must be out of the loop. 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 You know, I had to choose the other day between a blue bucket and a red bucket. It's a, it's a tough decision. Why is one color better than the other? <laughs> women, women, can't live with them, but you can't just make them cook me delicious meals all day, because they are people too. <laughs> Caesar salad the other day, and I half expected this stupid thing to come with a stupid Roman helmet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice that airports those long luggage trains and thought of how cool it might be for me to cruise around my backyard in them? <laughs> I bought a hang glider the other day, but I was too scared to test it myself, so I launched my dog off a cliff. Let's just say I regret that decision. <laughs> I mistook the other day a bikery for a bakery. I was pretty hungry, but I can't eat a bite. What's with the deal with ingredients labeled on soda pop bottles? How accurate can they be? Are they measuring every drop? My friends dared me to prank a call one day, 1-800-BOOB-SEX, but I eventually chickened out. They were really gross, yeah. No thanks, not for me. <laughs> Anyone hear about that jerk George Bush? Yeah, worst president ever, president ever, am I right? Hitler would be a better president, maybe. Thank you very much. Ever seen Bill O'Reilly? That guy's a greedy jerk. <laughs> Might as well call him Cash O'Reilly. Yeah! 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 I bought a little robot the other day, you know, it's supposed to clean your house and stuff. Instead, I found it in bed with my wife. I'm taking it back first thing in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. 
If you know me, you know I hate traffic jams. Unless of course they are raspberry. In that case, I will happily make an exception. Okay, a bar walked into a bar and got in a bind. No, wait, that's not right. No, 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 that was right. That was the joke, thank you. deal with four-wheel drive? Does a person truly need it? I mean, if you live on a mountain or something, sure. <laughs> yeah. have, you ever, have you ever been watching a basketball game and thought to yourself, gee, I could do a better job shooting than some of those guys, but then you had second thoughts? Me too. <laughs> you know, I used to be an NASCAR racer. Of course, I couldn't afford a car, so I had to ride a bike. Funny thing is, I actually managed to win a race or two. <laughs> Cadillacs are excessive cars. If I was going to make a car like that, I would give it a more humble name, like Bird Car. What's the all the guys with the boyish good looks get all the girls? It would seem... It would seem luck isn't in my favor on either front. Yeah. I was in Japan the other day. Japan. Everyone there bows to each other all the time. We don't do that here in America. I think they could learn a thing or two from us. Yeah. I was in an argument with my comedy agent the other day. He wanted me to perform an entire show underwater. I think he's trying to murder me. You know, I painted my house the other day, but I accidentally painted a camouflage, and now I can't find it. You know, my critics say I... Somebody's angry about the four-wheel drive joke. I'm not saying you don't need it. You know, my critics say I'm soft. More like micro-soft. <laughs> Anyone ever hear of that band Metallica? It's a good thing they went with that name instead of their original idea, 9-11. Thank you very much.